from the beginning of our national history. Our most visionary political leaders have been warning Americans against the domination of corporate power. Teddy Roosevelt, a Republican, said that America would never be destroyed by a foreign enemy, by a Taliban or by, you know, an Iran. But he warned that our beloved democratic institutions would be subverted by malefactors of great wealth who would steal them from within. Dwight Eisenhower, a Republican, in his most famous speech ever, warned Americans against the domination by the military industrial complex, by corporate power. Abraham Lincoln, the greatest Republican in American history, said in 1863 during the height of the Civil War, I have the South in front of me and I have the bankers behind me. And for my nation, I fear the bankers more. And Franklin Roosevelt, during World War II, said that the domination of government by corporate power is, quote, the essence of fascism. And Benito Mussolini, with an insider's view of that process, said the same thing. He complained that fascism should not be called fascism. It should be called corporatism because it was the merger of state and corporate power. But what happens when corporations dominate our government? You see that human beings are turned into commodities, communities are turned into commodities, and the environment, the landscapes are turned into commodities. And that's what's gonna happen across America unless we turn back this ascendancy of corporate power, and this battle is the beginning of that. Thank you all very much for participating.